If you have a big vision, there's three specific steps that you must execute on in order to actualize it. So the first step is you must be able to explain your vision. I often get on calls with people and I'm like, here, listen, tell me what you're most excited about. And they tell me what they're working on. I'm like, what's your vision for the future? So now they're speaking into their vision and their vision is so elusive and so abstract that I have no idea how to support them in getting there. I don't know if they're looking for an introduction. I don't know if they're looking for capital. I don't know if they're looking for a wisdom. I don't have no clue. And I say to them, okay, listen, I appreciate the energy that you just brought to the question I asked you, but just simplify it. Like, what is your vision? Your ability to communicate your vision so that it's really ambitious, but also very practical. It's something that anyone can understand. It's something that I could take after you share it with me and talk with my wife, Lindsay, at dinner about it. And then when I go to bed at night, I dream about it because you found a way to simplify the message so that the person that's not in your brain, that's not in your heart, that's not in your spirit can understand it. Because if they can't understand it, they can't help you with it. So the first step is you must clearly articulate your vision so that someone that isn't as immersed as you are in it can understand it to support you. The second step is you must execute. It's so critical. There are so many people out there that I call change talkers because they talk about the change that they intend to make in the world, but they're not doing anything to make the change happen. You must go from talking to making, become a change maker, and you must execute. And as you're executing, you wanna make sure you're auditing whether or not the actions you take are getting you closer to your vision. Now your vision's probably super ambitious. So it might be something that's really far out in the future. Like for me, build, scale, exit. 10,000 tech companies, but every day I'm executing on that. And I know that I'm getting closer as a result, but I also do audits on a regular basis to see, are there any actions that are actually taking me in the opposite direction or in a different direction? And I want to assess to ensure that I'm always on track to the ultimate outcome. The same way that you must execute and audit, execute and audit to ensure you're moving in the direction of your vision at all times. And the third thing, the third thing you must do to actualize your vision is you can't quit. You cannot give up. If you commit to your vision, you must keep on keeping on, even when that little voice inside shows up and says, just stop, this makes no sense. Even when you get out of bed in the morning and you step directly into a pile of doubt, even when you're having lunch in the middle of the day, and that next bite, you start questioning, why am I even doing this? Even when you can't go to sleep at night because your mind is racing because you feel so overwhelmed because you're living in a state of, of uncertainty. If you truly want to actualize your vision, you just can't stop. I deeply believe that there are so many visions out there that just end up dying because the person didn't hold on long enough. They were one step away or a few steps away from making it, but they didn't know where they were. So if you believe in it enough, if you believe in it deeply, if it's a calling for you, don't stop until you actualize it. I hope that you found this to be beneficial. And my challenge for you is to start finding a way to execute on these three steps. Clearly communicate, clearly communicate your vision. Take action every single day to get you closer to your vision and audit those actions to ensure they're actually getting you closer and then never quit. If it's a calling, it's your responsibility once you've answered it to see it to fruition. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.